let me say this real quick right here guys there is no introduction no need for introduction because this is quite a tragic news so british middleweight boxer um died passed away after um his professional boxing debut um sheriff lawar 29 year old british uh middleweight boxer um a guy was been the scene for a very long time and trying to work his way up you know most boxers for most boxers you know the first time you step in the ring uh, you know you, you do your as a, as a, you do you step in the ring as a professional there's this adrenaline that comes you know to 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 them and it makes you feel like you're in heaven is the beginning of a new era basically but nobody none of them would have vision to go in and not come out well in the case of sheriff lawal um that really that wasn't that, that was actually the case he went in there with determination you can see the smile on his face you know not knowing that he would have make it out so so he collapsed um in the ring the ring is professional uh, debut which was well, sunday according to bbc the 29 year old was knocked down by portuguese opponent malam varela in the fourth round of a middleweight bout at aro leisure center lawa received treatment from the paramedics at the scene i was taken to hospital but later pronounced dead the british boxing board of control said in a statement condolences to the family of sheriff lawa fallen in strategic boxing the thoughts of all those involved in boxing in great britain are with them at this difficult time um warren boxing management who represent lawa added we would like to send our condolences to all of Sher- um, sheriff's um family friends coaches and all those close to him at this tragic time even tasin fury uh paid uh, condolences to him to his family as well it is quite a sad scenario you know being knocked knocked down heavily you know by your opponent in your professional debut and is the, the the saddest part is that his family will never see him again i'm sure he has kids guys 29 years old they will never see him again how does he make a lot of you guys feel this is why Ryan Garcia should be punished, if possible, banned for life. Imagine if you are taking David Haney's uh, life, then maybe David Haney was knocked down um, <clears throat> unconscious and then taken to the hospital and then something happened. What would be the story now? This is why drug shit should be banned. You know, even though sometimes you want to give them a second chance, but some of them they they do this you know knowingly in the case of sheriff lawa we don't know if it's up to test a post for any pds yet but one thing is certain even if he's even if that's the case what are they going to do to him he's not going to go to jail he's going to get a ban really bad for life but he isn't going to go to jail because boxing is the legal way to actually you know kill a man basically and that's what saddens me the most when you see all these fan boys Ryan Garcia fan boys supporting him and all these guys they think boxing is a joke boxing is not a goddamn joke bro boxing is a sport that is very dangerous once you get in there you're putting your life on the line this is why when John T. Water say some things he say Some of us will say, "Yeah, why are you saying that?" He knows what he goes through when he go in there, when he go in there. 
okay as of as 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 a youngster i fought in the street you know with people box and stuff like that but it's a different ball game when you literally sign to to di in the ring if possible that's you're signing your busy your, your your death sentence basically when you step in the ring this is why boxers should be paid a lot and this is why they I don't know what's going to happen now because I don't think his family will be completed. I don't think the drudges in boxing would learn. And to make thing to make matters worse, you have Ryan Garcia literally celebrating and going to parties and on holidays and just acting as if all the, like that like everything's a joke. And you want to have those kind of people in, in the sport of boxing? Man, Sherry Flower, I never had I, I didn't know he was. I don't I did I didn't know I don't I didn't know it was at all. But when I saw, immediately I saw this news, I was like, oh, is it kind of just broke my heart because I know how what it takes to get in that ring and sign basically your life away. This is why boxers deserve love. Anybody that step in that ring that have stepped in there deserve deserve our respect. And it's why sometimes we don't like to see people get beat up badly because when you when someone is getting beat up badly every time at one point he will gonna he's gonna get get concussed you know and knocked out unconscious basically it's just a sad sad scenario it's just it's a sad sad news i'm so fucking devastated right now man you know, sometimes you just look at some situations. I not I don't know who Sheriff is. You know, never heard of him. But the boxer that he is, the fighter that he is, the warrior that he is, to step in there and you can honest listen, it's one thing to be a little bit further in your career and this happened to you. It's another for you to be making your first professional debut. Your first professional debut and this happens to you, bruv. That's the most devastated thing. Man, my condolences to his family, his loved ones, friends. It is sad. R.I.P. to Sherry Flower. I heard his news. I was devastated. Boxing is a brutal sport. Boxing is a is a sport that that's why we do all these guys right here. We need to appreciate them while they're still with us. Elias Anthony Joshua, Deontay Water. Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is also a drug sheet anyway, so no. Um Canada is a drug sheet as well. So no. Like all the clean fighters. Why are these drug sheets that have been tested positive for PDs in the past and covered up like Canelo and Tyson Fury? And now Ryan Garcia testing positive for Osterine and trying to like cover it and uh, make fun of it. This is why they deserve to be punished. And it's just very very sad is a sad 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 news i rap it to sheriff lawar you no know, i think he's a muslim by the name lawar means um so rest in peace and uh, may may allah you know grant him eternal peace it's just um a sad 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 news man not easy bruv it's not easy. God bless you all.